All right, so I hear you got some trivia for us tonight. I, I do, I do. Okay. I'm, and remember, I'm the teacher who gives you the answer for the test, and then you take the test. So, knowing that, what is today? Thursday. National oh. Time Refund Day. I said it at, when I was on the television. Said it oh, at the it's beginning. Leap Day. It's Leap Day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, they don't listen to me. <laughs> well, it's also Thursday. Well, it, well no, two, two mean, things can be true. It's February 29th. You, you got me there. <laughs> Both things can Thursday, be true. Thursday, February 29th. So let me talk about leap year and why we have leap years. Okay, so there we go. So, Cynthia, you mentioned this earlier. Earth takes 365.24 days to revolve around the sun, so we need leap years to keep our calendar in alignment, right? That's exactly true. We lose six hours each year, so we make up for that time with a leap year every four years, okay? Without leap days, we would lose 24 days after 100 years and Goodness knows we don't want to lose any more days as fast as time already flies by. So, yes, leap year, leap day, it's just a way to reconcile our calendars. And as Chris mentioned, it happens right now, February 29th, the last day of February, which is also the last day of meteorological winter. So I'm going to talk about meteorological winter and exactly how it shaped up. Remember this winter, my forecast for this winter, an El Nino forecast for the state of Texas. Most El Ninos, not all, but most are warmer than, are, are cooler than normal, okay, and wetter than normal. But I said this El Nino was going to be near normal or a tad warmer than normal, and it was going to be a little bit wetter than normal. So where did we end up? The average temperature this winter was 51 degrees. The normal's 47.4, so we finished 2.7 degrees uh, uh, above normal. That was the 13th warmest winter. Freezes today, 14. The normal's 27, so that's tied now for the fourth fewest number of freezes. What about rainfall? Rainfall, 8.68. The normal's 8.13, so I was hoping we'd finish more than a half an inch above normal, but that's about where we were, about a half an inch above normal. Snow to date, pretty close to normal, believe it or not. We had an inch and a half, remember that one day? Uh, we were above normal by 1.3, so above normal, uh, the normal's 1.3, above normal by two-tenths of an inch. So there you go. That's our winter summary. Now as we look outside.